Yeah, it's McCoy right here. You fucking with your boy right here. South Jamaica, Queens. Well, representing Southern Boulevard. I'm saying, do the right thing. Get to it. Yo, I, I speak positive about my community, you heard? So, um, I don't know necessarily about the spooky side of things. You feel me? It's, it's, it's pretty regular to me. You know, it's a nice little neighborhood. It's Queens. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get busy everywhere. So, you know, it is what it is at nighttime. Other than that, it's regular. Yeah, I've been on the ride. I've been, I've been doing music for about 15 years now. Mm. Or probably 16. Well, I say I'm a, I'm a businessman before anything. So I feel like when I was a teenager, music was cool. It was like, all right, I'm good at it. I'm going to do my thing. But, you know, life has other options outside of music. So my main focus was in music. I did a lot of business, different businesses, and then... I just kept doing music on the side. I just kept, you know, making music here, there, whatever, recording, dropping stuff. And everybody just kept motivating me to do it more, do it more. Yo, yo, drop more, drop more. And I'm like, yo, I'm handling business, you heard? Like, music cool, but it ain't making me money right now. You feel me? I'm going to do what's going to give me money right now, and I'm going to continue with that. And I'll do the music on the side, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So it just so happened within the last two years, it started to take off a little more than I expected. So it shifted my attention from business to, all right, you know what? This going to be the business now. I'm gonna get busy with the music. I can actually make money off this now and make it a career. You feel me? Make it a life. So that's what my focus at now. Well, um, the game night I was I was, you know, something that's um is growing. Um, like 420, I got an event coming up 420. Doing something like that game night. You know, fight going on. Had people pop. I got an event going on. Um, outside of that, I did um. See, I had a smoothie van. Did the car dealership. Um, I was working at Enterprise. I'm mistaken. I, I work. You know what I'm saying. You gotta. You know. You gotta be a work, working the boss at the same damn time. You know what I'm saying. I worked at Enterprise for five years, so I got a lot of knowledge on cars and stuff. But um, I mean, fast forward. As far as music now, music is different now. It's not the same like it was back in like the early 2000s and 90s. You're not gonna just walk into a label, get a record deal. You know, it's not the same. So um, I would say my focus isn't like. So much, oh yeah, hollering at the label and just getting signed tomorrow and this and that. You feel me? I think success comes from what you consider success to be. You know what I'm saying? So if you're looking at success as, oh, I got a record deal, then I guess that's success for you. You happy? But if you're a person that feel like, yo, I just want to do my music, I want to make my money and go about my career how I want to go about it, then that's your success with or without a label. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about what you want to do, what makes you happy, you feel me? So, you know, outside of the business stuff, I'm at the point now where it's like, ah, right, you know what? I can actually make a business out of what's making me happy, which is my music. So that's why I put all the other businesses aside. Like, you know what? My main focus is my business, my music. You know what I'm saying? So right now it's like label-wise, I mean, if I get a, a certain contract, yeah, it sound good, ah, right, yeah, I might go with that. But for the most part... Labels ain't really rocking with you unless you got a crazy following. And that's not something that I was, <clears throat> that's not something that I was focused on. My ever, let me see what, I'm 31 now? I'm I'm, I'm based in, uh, rap careers based off of the what I see in the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes went to the labels, this and that, you get signed and, and you popping up. It's not like that no more, it's a different day, you feel me? I already holler at some of the big dogs, this and that, and they like, yo, listen, you gotta have a whole bunch of streams and followings and this and that in order to get some record deals. So to me, I kind of looked at it like, ah, right, you know what? That's not the, the the main route to success. You know what I'm saying? That's not really what's going to make you happy at the end of the day because you might have a contract that's not fulfilling to you. You feel me? You might be in debt. I see a lot of artists that's fried up with a contract. So it's like, yo, let me um let me go ahead and do what makes me happy and make my money off my music my way. And if a label comes, a label comes. You feel me? For you know, if it's a good deal, it's a good deal. Other than that, I'm just doing what makes me happy, and that's my business. Make my money off it. Well, um, I would say adjusting to what's going on in today's society, today's world, is the smartest way to go about making music if you want to stay relevant. If that's not your focus, then all right. Stay in your lane, do what you do. You feel me? You can stay stuck in 2000 what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, at this point, you know, I've adjusted um, my new tape, my new SOS 3 tape. It's definitely a, a big upgrade compared to my old music. 
So um, I came a long way. Mm-hmm. It definitely was hard work mm-hmm. because of the style and the era I come from. It's like, yo, I come from, you know, Max B, M.O.B. type. You feel me? Like, that's why I like marketing-wise. That's something new for me. That's something that I'm just now studying. I'm just now making progress on because that's not my ever. My ever, we we in the street. We not thinking about no on the computer marketing and sending Facebook this and that. We not thinking about that. We actually outside. What you talking about on the computer? That was for geeks. So, <laughs> you feel me? Like, guys from, from, from that era, that wasn't what it was. The labels can't do that. You let the geek boys that's in the background, let all them go to the computer and do all that. We not, we not doing that, bro. <laughs> we ain't doing none of that. So, now it's like, yo, this is a different day. If you're not doing that, you're not relevant, boy. You could be all that extra, whatever you want. Stay in the background. You better learn this computer shit, get the marketing going. Otherwise, you're just going to be lost in the past. Well, I would say, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> It's funny, man. Oh, yo, yo, shout out to my man, Fifth Ass, man. It's my video, man. He came a long way. He worked with superstars. So, um, he actually, you know, we talk a lot, and he drops a lot of knowledge on me on what's going on right now as far as the labels and how artists is going about promoting and marketing. And I would say I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? Every time I talk to him, it's some new information. You know, everything is like, just evolving so fast, it's like, yo, you gotta do this, yo, you gotta do that, yo, you gotta do this. This was going on now, this was going on now. It's like, oh shit, yo, this shit is like a, a tornado. It's not a game. And at my age, you see, I'm 31, so I'm like, yo, I really gotta pay attention, and I gotta be on the phone, and I actually gotta get on. I gotta be on top of this shit. Otherwise, it's quiet for people hearing my music. It don't matter how good it is. I could have the hottest song on the block. But if it's on the block, it's only on the block. Ain't nobody in the world gonna hear it. So is it the hottest song in the world? Nah. So I gotta get to millions of people. And the only way is through the phone, the marketing. So I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. It's, um, it's a, it's a every, every day learning experience, every week, every year. Word. So I'm just making progress as I go. Nah, that's bad funny, because, yeah, dudes be wild and try to get attention, man. I ain't with all the silliness. <laughs> I ain't about to just be doing anything. <laughs> now, nah, um, I would say you got to be authentic to yourself. You know, everybody has their own lane, their own wave, and I think it's hard for people to find it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard for people to find their own wave, like, surprisingly. You know, it's not it's not that easy. <laughs> That's my <bad>, funny. <laughs> I want to know for real. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it this morning. Oh, all right, all right. This we morning? Yeah. So you've been drinking that all day? That's yeah. A gallon a day, feel me? Keep the... Yo, yeah, so I'm a health man, feel me? Drink, gotta keep it, keep it healthy. Listen, you should try fast the next time. So I don't eat no try. pork, no... Yo, mashallah, ma, I understand. Mashallah, yeah, mashallah. Yeah, mashallah. Yeah. I'm not Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mashallah. You want the ashwagandha? That's not Jewish, Jewish. that's Muslim. I thought you said mashallah, like... Okay. No, that's shalom. So you fuck with, like, Seymour's, Makaru, Ashwagandha? Oh, I used to sell that. Yeah, my smoothie van. I used to sell that. Oh, Word. Shit, I had yeah. it, my smoothie Sour, van was in the... Um, I had a smoothie... I had a, I had a smoothie van in Southside. Word. I was selling all the health products to the hood. Oh, nah, that's what's up. I, I fuck Word, I was supplying the juices. You actually buying it? Nah, I ain't going front. It was going smooth and all that, but, you know, I ended up... You know, I had a little remix on it, you know what I'm saying? I was selling, I was selling funnel cakes. I was selling funnel cakes and fried Oreos. <laughs> I had both of them, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, I had it all in one, you heard? I was killing them. I started hitting the parks, tournaments, basketball tournaments. I'm like, yo, what's up? I got it. You need it, I got it. We got the kids. I was giving the kids. I was like, let's get it. My man had the jumpy house with the kids. We was, we was killing it hard. <laughs> all right, so, yo, when I was in college, you know, I was, I was... I was hustling in college. It's kind of, yo, it's, it's crazy. It's kind of like the Tyreek joint. Word. I had a little, had a little joint to it. I was just like, um, what's her name? What's the little shorty name? Oh, a little light skin one. Nah, not her. Nah, she was the gangster one. Yeah, I had a little Lauren. Word, I had a little Lauren. <laughs> I had a little Lauren. Shout out to Kiki, you know. Oh, shit. Word, you know, yeah, she done moved on her life, you know what I'm saying? Got away from the bad boy, you know. Yeah, she, you know, married now and all that. Word, wish her the best of luck. <laughs> so did it go good? <laughs> nah, I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said that it go good. Hell no, he locked my black ass up. You out of here, boy. You want to play around? 
They was like, you selling, you selling drugs to our kids. You going to jail. How did, how did the all go down? Dude ratted on me. <laughs> Word. Nah, yeah, dude, I was serving. He, um, you know, he ratted on me. I was, I was, in, I was in college, but it's crazy. I was hustling, but I was paying for school with my hustling bread. You feel me? Like I was a smart nigga. Like I was in play. Like I was getting busy with it. I did my little time. I came home, and um, that's when I went to Enterprise. Whoa, I went to Enterprise. That's mad funny, right? I was just about to took it off my tongue. Yo, I went there with a felony. I'm like, yo. I ain't really know, you know, too much about the felony. I was young, so I'm like, yo, I don't even think it. I'm like, oh shit, it's this part of the application I got to fill out now. I'm like, oh shit, I'm fucked up. No, I ain't never had to fill out this part. Did you lie? Nah, I put this shit on it. I went in for my interview, and um, my manager, he happened to go to college in Plattsburgh. <laughs> so he was like, yo, you went to college in Plattsburgh? I was like, yeah. He was like, where? I'm like, yeah. He was like. Oh, what? Yo, you know about this? Right, we just started talking, and then from there, he was like, Yo, I'm going to take a chance with you. And I went there and killed the Enterprise World. I right, got promoted five times. Period. Period. Word. So if they listening to this, your message is, hire a talent. Don't judge a book by the record. Yeah, by the cover. Yeah, don't yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. Don't judge a book by the record. Word. Definitely progress after that. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about business. That's why I ended up opening my car dealership. Yeah. Well. Alright, I'm gonna hit you with some 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 rapid fire type thing. You feel me? Like out of these out of these that I list, you gotta you gotta pick one that, okay. that most resembles you. Are you a woke nigga, a hood nigga, a Dawson's Creek nigga, or a spiritual nigga? Hey, yo, I'm going to go with I'm a spiritual nigga. <laughs> why, why is that? Because um, I go for energy. Like, I guess the best way I could put it is I'm really positive and um, I carry a positive energy. So when I'm around people, they gonna light the fuck up. <laughs> Word up, cause you know, I've been around I would say I've been around a lot of people that got I say darkness in their life. You know what I'm saying? Or should I say uh they carry a a negative spirit, bad spirit. And um I know the difference, you feel me? A lot of people they you know what I'm saying they've been through different things in life where you know what I'm saying? You could just be born into a family where you just around bad spirits, you feel me? It's just like, yo, you just got a negative vibe and you just down, you feel me? You think negative, you operate negative, you speak negative. So um, when I'm around those type of people, I don't judge, you feel me? I'm around to always enlighten and uplift people. You know what I'm saying? Change the process and make um, negative turn to positive. I don't never let um, negative turn me into negative, you feel me? So... Um, I would say that's the best way I can explain as far as um, spiritual wise, you feel me? I just, I move with a, a positive vibe and I change negative vibes into positive vibes wherever I go, you feel me? People can't handle that, they usually get away from me. Or some people just stuck on a negative vibe. You know, I don't want to hear that positive shit. All right, cool, see you later, you heard? I be like, that's just a kid. <laughs> Word. All right. Well, um, I would say it depends on the situation. Like, do we live together? Are we married? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, From the jump, if you want to start, like, any beginning, of course, I'm not 50-50 on nothing because we dating. If we dating, I mean, we go out. I'm paying the bill. Like, I ain't even talking about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to handle the bill, whatever case may be, whatever we doing. I'm paying for all that. Like, that's all charge. You feel me? It's like, charge it to the game, nigga. Like, you feel me? It is what it is. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm going to handle all that. Ain't no question. However, once we start living together and all that, um, it's probably going to be my crib she's moving into because I'm not moving into no shorty grid. Um, but whatever the case may be, I mean, say we got a crib together, like we, were, you know, we was like, all right, we gonna get a crib together. Let's 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 you know talk about doing so. Then I would say, yeah, we gonna go half and half because her money's becoming my money. We a team, so technically we're gonna work this out, pay this bill together, and we're gonna get disciplined to the point where we break down how we separate our bread and how we go about things together. That would be the best way to go about it, in my opinion. It's not so much looking at it like, oh, I'm making her go half or, nah, it's like, yo, we got money because we doing what we doing. It's the same way when we had babies, you gonna want to chill in the crib, 
for two years. You want to heal up and relax, and it's all right. Well, I'm handling all the bread, so I'm just gonna handle the bread. It is what it is. It's not. I'm just paying all the bills. It's yo. I'm doing what I gotta do for us. You feel me? It is what it is. You can make some more bread. Let's go. Add to the pot. But right now, handle them fucking kids. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad for you said spiritual shorty because <laughs> when you think about my ex, we just split up because I ain't a Christian, yo. You know, church shit, yeah. And you go hard about that church shit. But um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go with a spiritual shorty though. Well, definitely not like going in the, the path of my ex again, but um. I would say I like a woman that loves God. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't believe in God, you don't love God, then to me it's just like you probably a person that don't got no conscience. You know what I'm saying? Like a person that believes in God, you could always make sure they got a conscience. You know what I'm saying? They gonna always think twice about certain shit. But if you don't believe in God, it's quiet for that, you heard? <laughs> you just gonna do whatever. Well, you... You don't believe in God, then you don't believe in spirits. And you don't believe in spirits, then you don't believe in... Um, Good and evil, good and bad, in my opinion. So you just not gonna know if you want a good vibration or a negative vibration. Well, that's how you be stuck in that shit, in my opinion. And it was funny you said that, man, because when I first got my P5, I ain't played that shit for a year. I ain't even opened a box. Niggas was like, you bugging, bro? I'm like, yo, I'm gonna crack that shit soon, bro. A year later, I was like, yo, I got my shit on, shit. But yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't been playing it lately. I ain't gonna lie, music had me caught up. Right now, it was like, yo, writing every fucking day, bro. Oh, this shit mad work. Um, I would say constantly evolving. Like, if you look at my my Apple Music list, all the songs I got I got like six tapes out. Um, I would say look at it like this. A lot of people don't don't view it like this, but I'll break it down. If you make music, right, that means you have to take your one brain and come up with whatever and make it sound good. And it gotta sound good amongst your friends and to yourself. But you don't wanna sound stupid, nobody wanna sound stupid. So now once you come up with that one time, that don't mean it's gonna be good when you go in the studio and record it. So now you gotta make like, probably like seven, eight versions of that over and over and over to make one good song, you feel me? And this is just you starting out. So you know, I started out years ago doing that. So now fast forward to now, it's like you can imagine how many times I did that, like I did that thousands of times, you feel me? It's like, yo, over and over and over. So at this point, yeah, I'm coming up with new rhymes and I gotta do this to new beats and make it sound different every time. So I would say that's the hardest part, you know what I'm saying? Continuing to evolve with the culture and what's going on, the new sounds, the new beats. It's like, yo, every day, like I said, it's a learning experience, you feel me? You gotta keep adjusting to what's going on right now. So catch me at the real YBM, Instagram, and um, yeah, my new tape is out. SOS three. Yeah, some more something three out right now. Check it out. Apple Music. Your boy McCoy. Y A B O Y M C C O Y.